Just when you allow yourself to maybe start getting excited about Manchester United, what's happening next season and the plans that seem to be coming together. Cristiano Ronaldo tells Manchester United he wants to leave this summer. The news broke on Saturday night. I was away at a wedding. I've had time to think about it and I, and I want to do a video on it now. Uh, so we'll give my opinions on this Ronaldo story. What do you think? about this story that broke on Saturday night from Duncan Castles. I dismissed it out of hand because Duncan Castles is a bit of a joke, but of course he's Jorge Mendes's, well, I don't know, personal journalist. So he's got the links there and maybe I shouldn't have dismissed it. And clearly I shouldn't have dismissed it because David Ornstein, Fabrizio Romano and everybody else confirmed and the Athletic too, that Cristiano Ronaldo has told Manchester United he wants to leave this summer. He said to love the club, but wants to play Champions League football and fight for honours in the final stage of his career. I'm going to go through this now and read all the updates from Fabrizio Romano. And then I want to give my opinion on this situation, which it doesn't look particularly good. Let's be completely honest. And this is what uh, Romano is saying. He said, Ronaldo is not happy with the current situation at Manchester United as of today, as all of us aren't, right? Ronaldo has told United that he wants to leave the club this summer if, a, if the right bid comes in. The message from Ronaldo is clear. He doesn't feel the club's ambition as he wants to fight to win titles immediately. Manchester United's position has not changed. They want Ronaldo in the team for next season and consider him not for sale. Jorge Mendes already exploring options. You know, We know that he's met with Todd Bowley, who is uh, Chelsea's new owner. What's going to go on there? Bayern Munich. Lewandowski's leaving. It's obviously would fit in there. PSG, they're not in the list of clubs considering. Who cares about that anyway? Ronaldo has no problems with Eric Ten Hag. We'd love to see new signings at United. It's the beginning of July and all the English clubs Top clubs have signed big players. First things first, right? I've got absolutely zero bitterness towards Ronaldo saying this. I think he's got every single justification to be frustrated, to question the club's lack of ambition because the club does have a lack of ambition. Because the strategy at Manchester United switched away from winning titles to being a club that chased the top four. And that happened all under the Glazers' watch. And the thing that's strange here, and I, I, I said this back in, what, is it 26th of June? When we were starting to hear some sort of reports that Ronaldo expects to see ambition from United in the transfer market. And I said, this is some sort of full circle. Rooney, Rooney called out the club's lack of ambition when we didn't properly replace Ronaldo. And now Ronaldo's back questioning the club's ambition. It's some sort of horrible full circle. But Ronaldo has every justification for having that frustration. Last season, in a team that was absolutely abysmal, he scored, tw what, 23 goals? He is Mr. Champions League. And if he doesn't play in the Champions League this year, it will be the first season. He hasn't, well, I don't even know the last season. Has he ever been? He, that, that's what he wants at Manchester United. And when he came back to the club, right, we finished second, we signed Ronaldo, we signed Varane, and we signed Sancho. That was... An ambitious move. And look what's happened since. Collapsed. I mean, if, if you're talking about Chelsea, he's not going to go to Chelsea for chasing the title because there's only two teams that are going to win the Premier League this year. It's all around the Champions League, really. And I think the timing of it, I don't particularly like. Now, I've, 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 a lot of people have been saying, Sam, look, the reason he didn't say this at the start of the summer was because um, he was waiting to see what the club was doing. Now that it's July and we haven't made any signings, that's when he's coming out with it. Fair enough. If that's what he did, then, then that may be the case. But it's still... I don't know. It doesn't sit right with me. I'll be completely honest. And, 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 if, we're, and if we're being totally, completely honest here, this is, I su this is probably the second manager now where Ronaldo has massively changed the course of the preseason plans. Solskjaer never planned for Ronaldo. We took the opportunity to bring Ronaldo back and it was a curveball for Solskjaer, a curveball which we didn't tactically do well with, right? And now Eric Ten Hag has been planning with Ronaldo for next season completely. Spoke about, spoke very highly about him. So if at this point now Manchester United have got to have a big U-turn and go out and sign a Ronaldo replacement, it's another pre a set of preseason plans that have been completely changed by Ronaldo coming and Ronaldo going. <sighs> I really, honestly, I don't know where I sit with this because in reality, Ronaldo's only here for one more season, right? So if he gets replaced this summer, it's just 
a year in advance. I don't think Ronaldo's going to be here more than a year. That's just what my gut is, is telling me. But <laughs> I'll tell you what, my gut was telling me there was absolutely no chance Ronaldo was leaving this summer. So I don't know whether you should listen to me or not on that. But Ronaldo is a person who's feasted on a diet of titles after titles after titles. That, that's, that's his food. And at United, that's not our diet. And that, that's, not our, that's not what we're eating anymore. We're not eating at the top table. And we won't be eating at the top table for a while. So I can completely understand the fact that he does want to leave. I question why, the, why he came back in the first place then. Because, well, maybe he didn't realise how far ahead City and Liverpool were when he came back to Manchester United. But yeah, this is, it's not fucking good, right? It really is not good. And I don't, as I said, this is a direct consequence of the Glazers. We know Ronaldo's right. No, no United fan at this point is going to say Ronaldo's wrong for saying what he is saying. He is not wrong. We do have that lack of ambition. And it's that lack of ambition which has driven the club into the ground, which has allowed City and Liverpool to dominate so much whilst we just sit there, spend money incorrectly, because we don't have the ambition and the structure combined to go back towards them. I don't think United will let Ronaldo go, right? David Ornstein there saying that he wants to leave. He wants to play Champions League football. And I don't particularly think there are many clubs. Bayern Munich for me is the only place where I think Ronaldo could go, where his ambition would be matched and he would be challenging. For, well, he'd win, the, he'd win the Bundesliga next year, first of all. Second of all, he'd be challenging in the Champions League. Chelsea, no chance in the Premier League. They might do something in the Champions League, but at least they're in it, right? Where else? Napoli? Really? Napoli? How's that going to match his ambition? PSG? He's not going to go there. Real Madrid? They're fine. I don't think you go back there anyway. It's just a really... It's the timing. I don't like the timing of it. Because United... The fact of the matter is, it's July the 3rd. There's still a month before preseason starts. If Manchester United were a brilliantly run football club with plans in place and the finances to back it up, we could go out there and sign somebody and replace Cristiano Ronaldo this summer. Now, there's not, in terms of the elite strikers, maybe not. But that's what a good scouting network would do. We would identify somebody who would probably fit the Eric Ten Hag system a little bit better. But Sebastian Haller played in that Ronaldo-type role for Ajax last season. So I think he'd absolutely be fine in this Ten Hag system next season. As long as we've got the wingers who are creating and that support and the service for Ronaldo... I think he'd be far happier at United next year than he was last year. But he's not fucking wrong to, to question the ambition, man. As I said, this is some sort of weird full circle. When Rooney fell out of the club because of the lack of ambition after Ronaldo left and we didn't replace him. And that's the thing. I don't think that we probably would adequately replace Cristiano Ronaldo. You can't really replace his goals. He's a goal-scoring phenomenon. But United have got so much to do this summer, I don't even know whether we're going to do that, let alone do all of that and replace Cristiano Ronaldo. How? I don't think we can. And that puts us between a rock and a hard place. I, I don't know what United do here. I really, really don't know. And I'd like you to let me know what you think we should do in the comments below. Because I, I did not expect this. One of those things, I suppose. Um, I don't, yeah, I, I just did not in a million years expect it. I suppose I didn't expect Ronaldo to force his way out. I thought he... But then again, why wouldn't I think that? He is 37. He has only got a couple of years, a few years, two... I don't know how many years, to be fair. It's Ronaldo. He's a freak. Missed like 19 days in the last two seasons. And he's 37. It's ridiculous. I don't, I don't know. Honestly, I'm, I'm a little bit speechless with this Ronaldo one. It's not something I expected. It's not something I think United would have expected. It's not something that Ten Hag would have expected. And it's a massive curveball. In the same way it was a massive curveball to Solskjaer when he came in, it may well be another massive curveball when Ronaldo leaves. Now, I'm not going to call it a blessing in disguise, which some people might say. It's, it's fucking Cristiano Ronaldo. It's one of the greatest goal scorers of all time. You can't paint that as a positive if he's leaving. If we are going to, 
then he has to be adequately replaced. And given what United need to do this summer, I don't think we've got the money for that. I really, really, really do not think we're going to have the money for that. Especially when we've got the Glazers. who are, The Glazers spent a, an absolute shit ton of money. They've done it badly. But this summer, I don't think that we're going to have the funds to replace Ronaldo. And if we, we already don't have a backup to Ronaldo, let alone if Ronaldo leaves. Jesus. But what do you think about it? You let me know in the comments below. I let it... Oh, I wasn't going to do a video of the wedding last night. I was absolutely hammered. But just when you think you can get excited about the plans going forward at United, massive curveball comes out. And this time it's in the, in the shape of that man, Cristiano Ronaldo. But you let me know what you think in the comments below. No doubt we'll speak about it in tomorrow's live stream as well. But I didn't expect this. I really, really didn't expect this.